Spookery. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. Ooh, spooky noises. Ooh. Sorry about last time where uh, everything crashed and you lost a bunch of footage. This time will be different. And then I'm going to double check and just like restart the entire recorder uh, if the game crashes so that that doesn't happen again. All right, anyway, so where were we? Oh, right. I had reached a save point. Unfortunately, I had reached a save point. Still bolt in a terrible, terrible location. Let me move my mouse around because with the controller set up, <coughs> it actually can make it a little bit harder to use. Also, there's an alien in this... Yep. There's like a xenomorph in the area. Oh, balls. Hello. Pretty girl here does not like me burning her eggs. Yeah. Fortunately for me, she also has mild ADHD and is willing to leave pretty much immediately. Apparently. Sorry, precious. Flare. Alright, so anyway, uh, lost or disengaged. This thing is that. Probably it. I'm a wee bit concerned about precious because she is very nearby. Oh, hello. Hello, you saw me. You saw me! Shit. As I said, Precious was nearby. <clears throat> Once again, my first beer, not having, not getting drunk, just having a sip. Don't worry. Okie dokie, so. Xenomorph can come from over there. Noted. Ooh, flamethrower. No, I, I want the flame, I want the ammo. Thank you. Hmm. Really miss being able to use my sensor. That was great. Remember why I could use my sensor? Wait, why does that have no power? Was this not the thing I'm supposed to hit first? Ah, uh, poop. Okay, um... What am I supposed to hit first? So I feel distinctly, distinctly unsafe right here. Okay, uh... Redirect the power to the central core. Oh, goody. Oh, goody, because I wanted to go in this direction. Oh, fantastic. The direction the alien was actually coming from. And we're by one of the freaking eggs. Oh, you motherfucker. Um, shit. Oh my god. Ow, fuck you! You son of a bitch! Ow, ow. Not dead? Okay. Burned it good enough to get to lay off for a second, but. Oh god, son of a. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh. All that. For literally nothing. Lost health, lost flamethrower ammo. Very possible I could still die just trying to get back to where I was. For nothing. For nothing. I am so happy right now. You have no idea. Okay. 
Wait. Wait. No. No. <laughs> are you serious? The instructions are seriously not leading me to there. The place I know is not anything. God damn it. Okay. Oh, uh, balls. Did you see me? You see me? I don't think she saw me. Don't think she saw me? Uh. Okay, I'm pretty sure she didn't see me. No. Okay, she definitely didn't see me. Okay, still confused as to what exactly I'm supposed to do. Beta core uh, thing, redirect power to the central core. Disengage locking mechanism. Oh, you bastard. Hello. You see me, don't you? You see me. Yeah. I'm scary. I've got a flamethrower. Ow, fuck. Okay, not scary enough. Okay, that was, that was dumb. Could have handled that better. Could have possibly handled that slightly better. Activate beta conduit. Disengage locking mechanism. Overload beta conduit. Restore power. Objective. Redirect core. Okay, so this objective did pop while I was in here. Which means that this new objective is a fresh objective unrelated to getting to this location in the first place. So clearly, I am on the right path in going down the other route, I think? Like, I do probably have to go down there some... where? I'm just not 100% certain where. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, it's definitely in this direction. I don't see any second... May I miss something? I probably missed something. I, you know what the embarrassing thing is? I probably missed something and you guys probably saw it. I didn't spend the entire time up to this point going like, no! No! You were right there! Yeah, something like this. Something exactly like this is what I was thinking I was missing. Ugh, oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. You are, you are. You look how I feel. Stupid. And dead. I mean, I don't really feel dead. Uh. You look dead, though. I mean, no offense. You probably figured that one out already. All right, more flamer ammo. So this is actually pretty great for me. I'm, uh, I'm pretty okay with this. And then I can skadoosh this and do it again. And level three, just like that's the Jurassic Park. Okay, and uh, now we gotta go and overload the beta core. Oh, and in case you're uh, watching this, oof, oof, that would have been bad. Uh, assuming you're watching this within the present of uh, me recording it, uh, and you haven't seen the movie Mad Max Fury Road, go watch the movie Mad Max Fury Road. I no longer have a podcast to talk about how much I like Mad Max Fury Road, but suffice to say, I really like Mad Max Fury Road. Who knows, maybe I'll once again do end-to-end -end at some point and... Retroactively talk about how much I like Fury Red. Or do, I'll do a live stream. Do a live stream, and I'll talk about it there. Anyway, irregardless, if I don't, and, you know, you have a chance to see it in theaters, go, go do that. If not, it's the future. Go watch it in, I don't know, go watch the DVD or something. Uh, eh, whatever. Whatever. Also, at this point, Jurassic World has not come out yet, so I still have hopes for it. And we have, no, we have not yet learned whether or not it's a total piece of shit or really, really good. So. Oof. 
Okay, where my button? Oof, this is. I had to put my back to a place where I know the alien. An alien. I'm sorry, I'm used to there only being one. Where I'm used to an alien stuck. Alright, let's hide in there for a second while we wait for the alien to come through. And plan our move. Because there's no way they're gonna miss that. I was actually really safe. Oh, jeez. Oh wow, that looks like something I shouldn't be standing near. Wow, that really looks like something I shouldn't be standing near. Maybe I should just save right now and run. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should do that. Oh, fuck me! As it turns out, it was a really good thing I saved. Also, fuck me. Literally. Because it's a face hugger. Goddamn fucks your face. Like a dick. Okay. Okay, baby. Where are you? Oh, fuck you! Holy shit, that was way too goddamn close. Good! Oh shit. Um. Fuck? Okay, hey. Cool. Wow. Um. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was close. Alright, I'm thinking I'm good. Now, anyway. Until I inevitably walk backwards into one of these little bastards. Okay. Okay. Crouch down through here? Okay, yeah. Bonding agents. Scrap metal, some shotgun shells. Can I shoot the aliens? I mean, there's a bunch of them now. I mean, they don't necessarily need to be immortal anymore. Kind of doubt the rules have changed on them just because there's a lot of them now. Besides, given the nature of this game, it could just be that we're gonna blow up all of them except for one again because, you know, alien. Holy Jesus. Oh, mommy's not going to be pleased about that. In the words of Jeff Goldblum from Lost World, Mommy is very angry. Or for once, they're gonna let me uh, get a, a free pass on that one. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. Universe, I know when I'm being given a free pass, and uh, I know not to question it. So, uh, let's not question it. It's right near our save point. So let's go and hit that save point. And then escape. Why not escape first? Because I am paranoid. And I don't want to die feet away from the escape hatch and realize that I could have saved. Because this could happen. Okay, or it could, you know, happen like that and I totally look like a huge badass and don't die, but I mean, it could have happened other ways where I, you know, did, did die. Beep. See you in hell. You glitchy, glitchy level. So I'm sort of hoping that the crash uh, bug had to do with uh, something involving saves uh, in that area because I, it crashed both times when I was saving that area and that the crashes will no longer continue now that we are 
out of the location. I can destroy the nest. Ripley, you've put yourself in enough danger today. I can power up all the cores, overload them, and then initiate a reactor first. It'll destroy everything down there. Look, I'm not trying to persuade you out of this, Rip. I'd just like it if you didn't die. Oh, Ricardo, you know what? I'd like it if you didn't die too. Happen. There are emergency overflow circuits that feed excess power into the okay. local capacitor banks on each tower. If I decouple them and discharge the system, the purge will be external. The nest is right in harm's way. I have no clue what you just said. <laughs> just find something to hold on to. I like Ricardo. He's, he's very much an oddity and surrogate kind of guy. Yeah. I, I also have no idea what the hell Ripley's talking about because she's the engineer, not me. But, uh... Gar's here to kind of share in the uh, in the toys of confusion, and to be our oh, hello, hello. Um, oh right, I have to reload this thing. Shit. Uh, nope, wrong button. Oh, there are a lot of you guys. There are a lot of you guys. That's okay because I got a lot of shots and I got the feeling that either this game is near the end or I'm not going to be dealing with a lot of androids anymore because once you introduce an army of aliens, kind of hard to be all freaked out by an army of android by a couple of androids. Plus I still got shotguns so you know they're they're fine and sun rods and all that stuff. Yeah, so fuck you, in other words, is what I'm getting at. It's the uh, basic gist of it, you know. Battery, charge pack, boss camp, okay. You're all dead and you can all fuck yourselves, so let's go and uh, deal with all this power bullshit. Uh, okay, so on these sides... That's not it. I need okay, alpha core overload. Oh, alpha core. Yeah, okay. They are uh, they are labeled like any uh, decent industrial plan would be, because this game makes fucking sense. Okay. Ooh, ooh, baby. Yes, please, more flame. I have a feeling I'll at least be dealing with mo one more alien. So you know. At the very least, I would like... I'd like... I'd like some fire. I'd like some fire in my life. What the hell am I doing? Okay, I'm going over there. And then possibly uh, through there. And then that would be my plan. Uh, okay, so I hit this thing over here first, then I go back and get that one. Keel. Keel. I got that. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, I got this. I got this. Bloop. Oh, oh geez. Okay. Um, Andrew, can you confirm the balance? Um, oh, Jesus. Uh, what is... I don't even... Balance values confirm... Balance value? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, do I have to match them up to... Okay, okay, that, that was a little confusing at first, figured it out. <coughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's cool. Oh, there's another one over there. Okay, come on, keep on running, keep on running, you gotta keep on running. Big whip to keep on turning. Okay, this one. Oh, jeez. Uh, move uh, key when circuit is active. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's like a rhythm game. That's cool. It's different types of mini games. All right. Overload beta core. Beta core was that one. Okay. Let's go. Running through the sneezing rain, and then over to the lever. Yeah. Okay. Boom. And over this way. Awesome. Easy as pie. Uh, 
Yes. Okay, so same as before. Second verse, same as the first. Except that this time with new minions. Now I'm getting good at these. I mean, they're really simple and stuff, but like, I feel way better doing them than I did uh, the honey pop stuff. There we go. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. And then uh, just over to blow up the main reactor. Yay! Engineering for the win! Wait, I'm going to catch you? Is that a robot or. Or whatever, fuck them. If there's a little robot alive, I will kill it. Or allow it to explode in this. Alright, grab it. Left it. Why not uh, ask the basketball about safety protocols? That is definitely a fucking robot. That is definitely a motherfucking robot. Okay, but it doesn't matter though. Because I'm out. Yeah, I thought there was like one robot I didn't kill, but. Either he is utterly failing to actually get in my way. Or... Oh yeah, there he is, there he is. Oh jeez, okay. There's more than one. Hey, asshole! Whoa, shit, okay, um... Oh, Jesus, okay, well I didn't kill him, actually. He just sort of set on fire. I'm okay with that. Voice is a bolt, but it's fine. Actually, I might have him with the bullet, which might way he died so quickly. But, either way. Oh, uh, balls. That was wrong. I think the, I think the robot's dead, though, so it's, it's, it's fine. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Is it actually in here? Like, was I wrong when I thought this was wrong? I'm a little bit confused right now. Oh, no, it's... wait, here? Or... Door locked, okay. I'm gonna have to assume that's progress, I think. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Come here. Go on to mama, go on to mama. Ripley has got this in the mother fucking bag. Yes. I just need to climb the ladder. Easy as, you know, pie, as I said before. Woof. Woof. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's blow the hell out of this, uh, out of this lab, and then go home. With Ricardo. My second pick after... Oh, jeez. Okay, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Is that right? Ricardo, um... I'm about to purge the nest. Hang tight. Okay, I'm gonna assume I was right then, I guess. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you! Fuck you, aliens! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's... Mother of a fucker. God... I'm sorry, Ricardo. Just step back to the Marshal Bureau room. Please. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I thought I was gonna get my sensor back at least. But no. We are still up shit creek without a paddle. Oh, oh son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch. This is not good. 
So very not good. I need my pl I need my flamethrower. And I'm definitely going to want to pull out my uh, fucking <laughs> my noise <laughs> makers. You think? I need you to get to medical now. The reactor perch is resetting systems across Sevastopol. Lights, transit, maybe even communications. I think this is our big chance. Just go now. We might not have much time. I'm heading down to comms. All right. Well, at least there's a there's a positive end game in my in my now and. You know, it's something. Specible medical station. God, God damn it. Well, I'm fairly sure there's no more humans left on the station. You know, if there were any, uh, you know, the one alien basically wiped them all out. So, I mean, if the one alien killed almost everybody and had everyone, like, the survivors in a panic, I think an entire swarm of aliens is basically... basically guaranteed to just end life on Sevastopol for humanity. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. Uh, habitation tower. Services offline. Destination. Need tower. Does it, does it matter which one I choose? I, I don't think so. Okay. I guess they can probably all kind of redirect themselves somewhere else. You know, when you have someone in security clearing your way. Oh, well, my sensor isn't going crazy anymore. Maybe, maybe even with a swarm of aliens, the individuals that I end up facing will still be on their own and I don't, I'll be able to use my sensor to deal with them. Sorry. That's the dream, at least. Sorry. Um, do we like open with like an alien inside or something? Uh, okay. Never mind. Seems okay. Seems all right. Okay, this was the right one. So that's we'll. So okay, yeah, so it's SIC, so I guess the other doors were covered in boxes and stuff, because SIC was actually the one I need to go to. Which was the uh, sign outside of this particular station, so... Never mind, minor plot hole I thought I might have spotted is actually not. Get to Sevastopol uh, SIC slash med tower. <sighs> Jesus Christ. This game. This fucking game is an odyssey. You know? In both that it's amazing and in that it's exhausting. Jesus, okay. Uh, let's turn off the unstable systems just because, you know. Uh, righty then. Righty then, then, me laddie. Me laddie dear girl. Hit this button. <coughs> okay, and... Wait, did I go into the wrong one? Holy shit, I actually might have gone to the wrong station or something. What the hell? Never mind. Or is this, uh... Okay, yeah, never mind. I think I went, <laughs> I went into the wrong car. Holy shit, never mind. So I guess I, there, you can go to a different car, maybe. And I just fucked up. That... <laughs> oh, wow, that is embarrassing. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, so I guess I'm not safe anywhere anymore. Because an alien can just, you know, now there's m multiple aliens. One can just be kind of wandering through. I don't even need to necessarily be in the area the alien's in. You know, there just are aliens everywhere. Oh my god. Holy shit. Woof, woof. Ricardo, I'm not medical. Did you manage to get to comms? I'm here, but I was too late. Apollo's recovered from the reactor purge and knocked out external comms again. Damn it. So why Damn did it. you send me here? Plan B, Rip. See, before I left, the system showed a ship approaching Sevastopol. I think it's the Inusadura. Marlo managed to send out his auto codes to call it in while comms were temporarily open. We've got to get to it. Is it docking? No, but it's in a holding position nearby. Head for the ambulance bay. The shuttles are really short range, but they'll make it. Got it. All right, find a short range ambulance. That sounds like an end game. So I had to get off the station, get into like a little ambulance uh, thing, and then uh, fly over to the Nisadora, right? That's the uh, the ship we came in on, right? Yeah, because that's right, we came in on a ship that's in orbit still. Keep out, friendly. I was not like dead inside where, you know, going in there being good. Mother. <laughs> of course, I go in the wrong goddamn direction. Ugh. I'd run, except, you know, can't really be safe in assuming that, hey, this is probably a safe time right now because there is no safe times anymore. They are all dangerous times. Is important to us. Please report all transit okay, I know that can be taken. Like, in a very different way, considering, you know, Alien, Geeker, all that stuff, but shut up. Shut up. Alright, anyway. Store power. Uh, that way. She was not say about me that my mind went there to, like, you know... Menstruation cycles. I mean, I'm playing Alien, so, like, I, I'd say I'm at least somewhat justified in thinking about, you know, things related to thematically female concepts, or straight up, not really thematic, just straight up biological ones, but having that being related to thematic concepts, but, you know, still, that's that's a weird place to go. That's a, that's a weird mental leap. No hospital, no authorities, no hope. This life for the rent. Huh. It's really for... Oh, is it just for free rent? Or for rent? Looters will pay... We be... No, we... JB, I think. Uh... There's a, there was the Working Joe one earlier. Oh, hey, it's the piggy! Oh, this is, must be... Uh, this must be security. Awesome. Can I pick up Ricardo on our way over to the ambulance? Uh, can I collect a bus? No, I can't. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, what's this? I thought I saw a bleep. I thought I saw a bleep. It was nothing. Uh, yeah, okay, so... Colonial pigs. Man, like, pigs are awesome, so whatever. Oh, okay, so we're just going to the elevator, not actually security. Fair enough. Beep boop. <laughs> a lot of transitions this uh, this episode. Start out in the den of an alien, taking a couple of elevators, a couple of uh, you know transit lines. I'll just part of the day for Ripley. Part of the job. Oh my. Oh hey, it's this place that we blew up. Again. Awesome. I see a launch on my terminal. Marlo's already taken one of the shuttles. Good times when we thought that a single alien could have been double a single explosion. Oh, and when I hit out in this location, you know, 
making my way very slowly through, trying to dodge the one alien that was patrolling around. One alien. One alien. God damn it, I missed that. There really being one alien. Oh, jeez. Problem is, they're like all kind of running around through like the vents and stuff, so I don't know when I should be like legitimately panicking over, you know, where the alien can and can't see me, <clears throat> and when I should be, you know, just trying to move along relatively quickly so as not to be in a location when an alien decides to pop down. Oh, corpsey. All right, there's a save point over this direction. I want that. I'll use, uh, from there I'll just continue on my way over to the ambulance. Gotta be really near the end now, actually. Ooh, oof, hello. Uh, do I have a stun baton? Yeah, I have a stun baton, hey dude. Ooh, I didn't check to see if these guys can be stopped with a stun baton. That, I'm gonna take as a no. God, fuck you, you son of a bitch! Okay, one more try, just for safety. Yeah, no, it definitely is not doing it. Hello. Hello. Holy Jesus. <laughs> is the freaking Joe seriously trying to reprimand the alien? I think it seriously is. I don't know if the alien even gives a shit about the uh, working Joe, though. It's not organic, so it's like... Never right. Oof. If he bends down, I am boned. Okay, he saw me. Ow, I think his tail hit me actually, which is kind of cool. If that was actually what triggered him, uh, like his tail touching me, that that's kind of awesome. Luckily for me, that was a relatively short distance. So I'm going to switch over my bolt gun, because I know I can use that to kill the uh, working Joe. So I just need to kill the working Joe and then find a hiding spot. That or, you know, remain outside of the working Joe. I guess. For now, I'm going to hold on to this, though, because it can let me kill... It can let me kill the android. And, uh, right now, killing the android is slightly higher priority than chasing off the alien. Because the android will lure the alien to me. Oh, there's a... Closet right there. So I could have hidden in that and been fine. But as I think I've mentioned in the past, I am kind of dumb, kind of stupid, so, admittedly, that thought did not occur to me. Oh my. Okay. Bringing Joe is right over there. Do you hear? Yeah, I really shouldn't. You want to recommend me? Because all I feel like I need to do is have one thing like that nearby. Because then, when you come to fuck me, your little buddy comes to fuck me over for shooting you, I have to hide. Sort of anticipated the alien not hopping down quite this nearby me, admittedly. That wasn't part of the plan. But it looks like I'm okay anyway. Yeah, okay, I'm okay anyway. Oh man, he's dragging that Joe. 
Okay, uh, so the save point is, I believe... Oh man, so it's like, it's outside and around. God, son of a bitch. I'll, I'll probably still go for it anyway, just because it's a checkpoint. That ambulance truck is either going to be the end of the game or damn close to it, so at this point, fuck it, I'll take my time and, you know, play safe. I wish I knew if it was the end of the game, because if it... it like, I, I wish I knew how close I was to the end of the game, so I could actually time the LP, like, like, so I could just go like, okay, well, there's only, like, you know, 20 more epi uh, minutes left of the game, I'll finish it. God damn it. Son of a bitch. I know my flame throw on me. Holy Jesus, that was really dumb. Whew, and then a cat went right underneath me. Okay, apparently didn't see me, or I was just imagining it being in the first place. Okay, where's the save point? Out. Alright, so it's basically on the other side of that wall. Okay, and the alien is over there. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I should just, like, play through and, you know, cut the video up if it turns out it's not actually near the end, or... How should I play this? I... It's very difficult when you don't know how close you might be to the end of the game. Oh. Especially when that happens. That's really bad to happen right at a save point. Though I think the game doesn't spawn the alien on you if you've saved. Like, oh! Once the game is saved, you don't actually... Like, when you reload, it doesn't spawn the alien right on top of you, even if, like, the alien jumped right down on you shortly after you saved. I think the save resets the alien's uh, initial spawn point into the area. So, because I, I did have that one time where I died, like, immediately after saving, and then when I reloaded uh, for the next episode, it was, like... Well, I didn't die immediately after, but I died very shortly after saving, as I was doing my sign-out. And then the next episode, I loaded in, like, all ready to fight immediately, just going like, okay, the alien's gonna charge right in here, like, he's gonna turn around that corner, I need to have a hiding spot immediately, and then he didn't. And I'm like, okay, I think... I think they, like, reset the spawn, or move the alien, or do something when you load a save, because... You didn't just insta-kill me, because I had a bad save location. Okay. Rapidly running out of uh, flamethrower fuel. If I still have Molotovs, I still have my uh, other stuff. I just got a... Okay. Wow, that was too close to her comfort. Uh, I just got a new blueprint. At the 11th... My access tuner isn't powerful enough. At the... At the 11th hour. There's got to be a bit more game left then. And I need a level 3 access tuner. Okay, so... That definitely sounds like something that... I will have to use, be using more than once. I, I got to upgrade my hacking tool, and I just got a new blueprint, so clearly there's a little bit more to the game. Okay, here we go. Here's the upgrade. So, wasn't too hard to find, at least, but yeah. I, I'm guessing that's the final upgrade I get. You know, three is a pretty even number for a final upgrade and stuff, but like, clearly there's a little bit more left to the game. Probably at least another hour left to the game. Uh... 
so I can probably safely go ahead and save at some point, assuming there'll be another hour, there'll be another episode's worth of recording. Because, I mean, like, as long as the episode's, like, half an hour long, it's fine. What about you? I personally like hour episodes, but, you know, I don't have to be married to it as long as it's, like, over 20 minutes. Plus, I know most people actually prefer 20 to 30 minutes, but I'm crazy, and it's my channel, and it's, you know, if you people are watching, I've been watching this series, you probably at this point enjoy big, long episodes you can just kind of put on in the background and then not worry about, you know, more episodes that, like, when you have a shitty internet, you can, you can start them loading and then just have them load up and then never, you know, you have to load up a dozen videos. All right. So either this is going to be the final cutscene of the game, which I seriously doubt because we just got a new blueprint and a new uh, tunneler, or it's going to be leading us to the end game, which is what I think is going to happen. Either way, I think this will probably be a good place to stop once we... Yeah. Once again, back on the Desidora, which actually, okay, I don't... Can you hear me? Okay. So I'm once again back on my own ship, and so. Well, that looked like an alien for a second. Jeez, yeah. Yeah, that's again. That's a trick they did in the original movies as well. Just you know, have stuff that is totally just like piping and stuff that looks like an alien in the in the shade in the in the shadows in the darkness. Anyway, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go a tiny bit further, but... We may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Alright, so it's the salvage ship. say the crew's being carrying any better. Then, we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship in a Stromo, Wayland yutani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then, Marlow had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal, and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Hmm. So I think, yes, this is Marlowe's ship. Uh, which means... I don't know what... I can't remember what happened to our ship, but I don't remember if it... No, it, no, it didn't explode. It... That was like the docking clamps exploding, I think. Uh, well, whatever. Signal detected. Uh, Marlowe. Hayes says he just picked up uh, some kind of signal. I've got Lewis trying to decode it now. Could be the Nostromo. Would, uh, want to come up and see for yourself? Technical reports. Technical report 10 24 2000, uh, 21 37. Marlowe. I just had to do some much needed work on the sublight engines. The old girl was uh, complaining so loudly I'm surprised something didn't fall off during the last jump. Everything holding together now, but she'll uh, need a full overhaul soon. And not just uh, for the core systems. We keep pushing her like this and we're going to end up being uh, the only salvage crew hiking, th uh, hitchhiking through deep space. I'm gonna, it's going to be an expensive job, so let's hope you're right about this be uh, that beacon. It could only be our last. Uh, it could be our last chance for a decent paycheck. Anyway, the rest of the uh, door code. Uh, uh, I had to reset the door code afterward. The new one is forty-five ten. So let me write that down. Forty-five ten. Probably going to use it almost immediately. But if not, I don't want to end the game with a code I have to memorize over days or even a week. Okay. Shared, non audio. We're outside Sebastopol. Marlow and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Marlow's ship. She's Marlow's wife. And things mm -hmm. got heated, and Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. 
Okay, so the woman who was the first host of the original alien that has been hunting this entire time was birthed out of Marlo's wife. Like, sorry, that was Marlo's wife. The lady was Marlo's wife. The alien was birthed out of out of her. Jeez, jeez. Okay, no wonder the guys upset. Holy crap. Oh man. So yeah, like the alien equivalent of the Firefly crew got kind of wrecked by the alien, uh, by the alien's arrival, and Waits is uh, quarantined and all that. She is... place is freaking... Okay, here we go. Here we go. This looks good. Oh, oh, it lifts up to... No, yeah, it lifts up to Isle of Us. That's nice. Okay. Doobly 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 do. Okay. Eat a hack. Eat a hack. Boom! Oh, I'm so good at, ti at those timing game things. Oh, yeah, baby. So, I don't think there's an alien on this ship. Alright. Find a save point, then we'll, we'll finish up on this ship uh, next time. Ricardo, in case you're here. Got the Unix Lord's basic power systems back online. Doors should be open. Hopefully some light. Still no sign of Marlo. Hmm. Yeah, where's Marlo? Did he die? Hey, Ripley. Welcome to the Anisadora. Well, he didn't die. Marlo? Where are you, Marlo? Uh, where am I going? I'm lost. Marlo? Marlo? Find Marlo. Where's... Oh, okay. Okay, over there somewhere. Ah, crap. I'm gonna have to finish this, aren't I? Alright, well, let's do it. Don't know if I'm gonna finish the game, but, uh... We'll finish whatever we're doing on the Anisidora, and if that's the end of the game, that's the end of the game. Alright, let's do it. Something tells me it's not, though. Something tells me that unless an alien snuck on with us. Okay, there's a face hugger on the damn ship. Something's fucked up here. Also, way to go, Taylor. Like, Ripley is, is training you like your goddamn BFF, and you were trying to get one of these aliens back to the company. You idiot. Oh, hey, it's an LM link, so it's different than the uh, Sevastopol links. That's actually kind of cool. Sevastopol, log 543374. Whatever it is, uh... Whatever it was attached itself to Foster is dead. I found it on the floor by her bed, all curled up like a spider. Frost said she felt fine, but I insisted on putting her in hypersleep. That thing must have done something to her, but maybe I can slow the process. Sevastopol's the nearest station, so I'm going to get her checked out. Quarantine will be a problem, but I figured the Nostromo flavor recorder may be the ticket in. Whatever we have to do. Error. And Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sevastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sevastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sebastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Wait up. God, everyone's so goddamn mercenary in this universe. Holy crap. Even the cops. Like, that, that seems to actually be like a legal, like, the law is just like, you know. So I suppose it's getting the thing, so the marshal... Stupid 
that. Stupid. You don't beat this thing, Ripley. You can. All you can do is refuse to engage. You gotta wipe out every trace, destroy any clue, stop its infection from spreading. Make sure there's no chance of the human race ever making contact with it again. Because the moment it makes contact, it's won. The company is never gonna know what happened here. Nobody is. I won't allow it. Jesus. All right. Nuke it from orbit. I mean, I don't disagree, but like, Jesus. Sounds like you're, uh, you know, kind of taking this all pretty hard. I mean, even considering your wife and all that. I mean, like, you seemed a little less self-destructive and crazy the last time we talked. Oh, save game. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's call it an episode because I think... I think the rest of the game is probably... We're probably close enough to the end now that I want to be able to do the rest of the game in, like, one big go, so... I mean, hopefully hopefully we're actually at the end. If not, this is going to seem really stupid, and there's going to be, like, two more episodes or three more episodes. God, God knows. I don't know. Well, anyway, hopefully you guys will stick around with me till the bitter end, which hopefully is also coming very soon. I love this game, but I would like to stop and be able to do something else. Meantime, though, see you guys next time, and have fun!